Sure. Uh, my name is Neil De Beer. I'm the president of Nadebe International. It's an international consultancy group uh, in infrastructure, ICT, TVET colleges in our education department and agriculture. So that's who we are. And um, I just think it's been a great opportunity to, to again engage. And what a place to engage where I think the leadership of the ANC, which is the current government, are going to discuss the future policies of this country. And um, I, think, I think we as South Africans are here because we want to be South Africans. And I think we should, um, as business, take a huge step forward because government, in our opinion, cannot do everything. And it is us as citizens and business South Africa that must make a contribution to change this country, do skills development, stop hogging capital on one side and partner with those that do not have access to those capital. And that's, that's why I love being here today. And one thing that you did uh, raise earlier on is, you know, the fact that uh, white monopoly capital does, is not an imagination that it in, indeed does um, exist. Why, are, why such thoughts? Just tell us around, you know, those views that you have. I, I think as South Africans we should stop um, saying things that are politically correct. I think we should call a spade a spade and not an agricultural implement. White minority capital by fact of history does exist. We should not talk about white minority capital in a negative. We should talk it in a positive. Because what we require is that people that have capital, which happen to be the white minority, have it and have the future in their hands to partner, give their intellectual property to the black majority and partner for a better South Africa. It's not a negative thing to say white minority capital. It's an opportunity for whites to go and make black majority capital work. Now, radical economic tr transformation versus inclusive economy. How do you think that will play out in the policy conference? Well, we first have to go tell our people what the hell this thing about radical economic transformation is. RET sounds like when we say corruption. It's not corruption, it's theft. So when people say corruption, they think it's an admin fault. We should start saying people steal. We should start saying that the real economic transformation in this country is radical because it should not be business as usual in this country. We should be doing business unusual in this country. So radical economic transformation in actual fact is in my opinion looking at this country, shaping it up, making it really work from grassroots and economically transferring the poor not to become wealthy but to become people that don't get jobs but get income. And there's a very big difference. So radically this country must change not Ugomso but Nomslanje right now.